Alright, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. So you're just gonna- Oh my sweet Jesus! Alright, what's up guys? This is Rambler, and welcome back to some more SCP. Hopefully I'm gonna actually get through this and learn how to deal with the things that are... the uh, happenings in this facility. I'm gonna release this gas yet again. I still don't understand what it does or anything else. And I don't like that there's many of the SCPs that the gate is um, unlocked. And that kind of worries me just a tad, just a tad, just a smidge, just, just a smidge, just a slight bit. You know, anyway, uh, most of the SCPs I don't really know to, how to deal with. Like, there's two of them that I know I need to run away from. 173 I just stare at until I want to run away from. Um, I don't know what the box of the Argon is. Argon? Argon? Ar Argon. Yeah, yeah, Argon. Yeah, if I could pronounce words correctly. Yeah, but... Online. Is, does it say oxygen ventilation? Oh, this is, this is, I don't like that. All right, well, we're just gonna go into the office here and we're gonna pretend like we don't, would you stop with it, the 173? I see you, I see you. Okay, all right, okay, all right, all right, okay, all right. SCP-714, Hazardous Anomaly. Can I touch it? I'm gonna touch it. I took it! What do I do about that? It says trinket. That's that's what it... Uh, okay, it says trinket. Was touching it a bad idea? There's... <laughs> why, why isn't SCP just sitting in a locker container? Does it give me any information? SCP-500. Medical, medical application? Heck yeah. I'll take that. I'll... Do things with you. Can I consume you? <laughs> I'm gonna use you. I'm gonna equip this. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. All right. I shouldn't have equipped it. I realize this now, but I. I just wanna. I just wanna see if anything else. Oh. Oh, that's not good. <gasps> it's... All right. I didn't need any of that. I just. Can I touch it again? Can I? Can I? Can I? Do you mind? Do you mind not doing the thing that you're doing right now? That's kind of creeping me out. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh boy, I'm gonna die in here. What's in you? Medical hypno. Ooh, did that, did that fix me? I'm gonna use you. Oh, it just gives me 100% health, that's convenient. All right, okay, well, the duck touching is no longer being touched of the duck. I want to touch again. No, I'm not going to touch again. That's stupid. Stupid, Christopher. Stupid. Oh. Oh. Can I, can I, can I unequip you? Oh, the effect doesn't wear off. All right, Chief. All right. I... See, I don't think that it actually helps me. Oh, hi. Can you just snap my neck and kill me now? Are you gonna be? St are you still gonna be there if I if I approach you? I don't know if he's still gonna be. I feel like since the eye thing is still going, I'm just gonna assume he's still gonna be there. But I don't know what to do about it. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be, gonna be, gonna be great. I am scared. Andy scared. <laughs> Would you stop? No, no, no. I don't need any of that from you. I don't need any of that from you. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. There are many things that I need from you, and that is not one of them. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think medical supplies are going to keep, uh, prevent me from getting a snapped neck. <gasps> okay, I'm going to touch the duck, and then I'm going to look at the SCP. I'm sorry, I'm just curious. Oh, good, the ring thing's going away. Oh, you don't look much different. Wait, do I just have the permanent ability to stare now? Oh, never mind. I don't. It didn't show. It didn't show the thing at the bottom. I was so confused. It didn't show me the thing at the bottom. Is because I touched the duck. It's probably because I touched the duck. Don't touch the duck. It's bad for you. It's unhealthy. Many doctors don't recommend that you touch the duck, the very duck that it is. No quick saves exist. Why? Why is there no quick saves? Why do I suck at this game? All right, we're just gonna do. We're just gonna do D dash. I'll, I'll do stupid this time. 
Stupid idiot. How about how about how about that? Uh, why am I so? Oh, bubble bath, bunts, bunts, bonbons. Yeah, designated to give a number given to a number of sweets brightly labeled Doctor Wondertainment's bubble bath. Not Wondertainment. Don't don't mess with anything that's Wondertainment. I know that that is very bad for you, very unhealthy for you. Ah, what was Wondertainment stuff? He had like all these. He had like six or seven different like characters that like he actually designed himself ah i remember that i just don't remember what all of them were ah there were so many of them not so many there was like seven eight seven or eight and they all had like engravements on their body or something like that that showed like dr wondertainment's this and this and they functioned like real people but they were just that character that was created now i don't remember if they are actually anatomically correct or if they were plastic i didn't know if that was a thing or not i'll get back to you in a second Jay, this will be the last time I see you. I promise. I never want to see you again. I want to get out of here. Nothing. Oh, why? Why? Why are you the way that you are? Why are you the way that you are? That is my question, my good man. Alright, we're blinking. We're shutting the door. We're sprinting, and we're sprinting, and we're sprinting. And we're getting it. Oh, okay, he turned. Alright, I blinked. Am I okay? I'm gonna assume that I'm okay. I'm just gonna run into the eerie hallway. We're perfectly fine. Everything's great. Everything's glorious. I had to sing all of that. I just wanted to get the hell out of there. It's a dead dead. I still don't like that I blink. Non non potable. Is that argon? I don't know. You get argon. Somewhere, some way, somehow. Is there anything in here? Is there any argon in here? I'll take argon. Argon would be helpful. I want to see what the SCP does. I don't know. I want to see what the SCP that, that's, that needs the argon. The box, the box thing. Box ghost? I don't know. Oh yeah, this thing. Can I also enter here? I can't enter there. Whee! So proud of myself. I shouldn't be proud of myself, but I'm proud of myself. You know, I'm an independent man and I can do whatever the heck I want. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I want to go home. 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 See, I don't like being trapped. Trapped is a very, very scary thing for me. I don't consider myself claustrophobic, but I really, really hate not being able to move. That's one of my. That's one of like one of my worst fears, is like the inability to move or get out of a situation. Like that's just a, it's a terrifying thing for me. It just, it just is. You know, why do I? Why am I going down? Like, that's my question. Oh, is this a disco deck this time? Alright, don't go near the butterflies, because the butterflies are sharp, and they cut you, and they kill you, and they murder you, and it's a lot of bad that's really going to happen. But I want to touch the disco deck to see what happens. I'm liking this. Is that literally what the disco deck does? That was amazing. That was not short of awesome. Not gonna lie. Oh, okay, so that's the floor layout. Okay, that's kinda cool. I should probably remember that. But um, I'm gonna open up my, oh, these are all bandages. Okay, I thought I actually got something in my codex. Um, wash response. I thought I was gonna say faculty, but it's facility. I'm sorry, my bad. SCP-553 nest alone. Okay, so this is SCP-553, I believe is the butterflies. I know it said what killed me last time, so we're not going to worry about that. Okay, I did not like the eerie noise that I got when I entered this. And I am not going to worry about it, you know? I'm just not going to worry about it. I'm pretty sure that everything is A... Never mind. A... Okay. Alright, that's just what I needed. I just needed a nice dose of SCP-172. That's what I needed today, recommended by my daily dose of doctor. My doctor's daily dose. We're gonna blink and we're gonna run for. Never mind. We're not gonna. Why did I try to look back and shut the door? What's wrong with me? There's so many things that are wrong with me. There's a list of things. There's a lot of number of things. A whole list of things that's wrong with me. I didn't understand how to do any of it. <sighs> Very frustrated with myself because I can't figure out how to get through this goddamn game. <sighs> okay, I'm not even class D personnel. I'm whatever. Whatever class. I'm gonna be class E personnel because I'm just <laughs> easily. <laughs> Lower than D. Lower than D. 
Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. One seven three Euclid. I appreciate it. Are those four eyes? Concrete statue of unknown origin, measuring two meters tall and weighing approximately four hundred sixty eight kilograms. The statue is vaguely humanoid in shape, although improperly proportioned. Traces of Krylon brand spray paint on the statue's upper body resembling a face. I don't think it resembles a human face. I don't know what kind of face it resembles, but it's not a human face. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, you know, I don't think it's, I'm just scared. Mars is asleep and Mars isn't here to protect me and it, I'm really offended. You know, he's such a good boy, but he just took you when he sleeps, so I can't wake him up. Except my screams of terror probably will. <laughs> this is not good. And by not good, I mean bad. Jerry's still dead. And I told Jerry I was never, ever going to set eyes on him again. Even though I love Jerry. You know, he was my soulmate. And then I just watched him get brutally neck-snapped by... Actually, I didn't. You never actually... Ah, excuse me. You never actually see him get his neck snapped, because he moves within, like, literally the blink of an eye. I can't remember if they talk about if they catch that on camera or not, like the uh, 173 actually doing the deed. I cannot remember if that's a thing. I'm fairly certain they try to. Well, not necessarily the neck snapping, but just him moving in general. Why? 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 Why do I see you so much more often now? The last few games that I've played, it's just been like, ah, uh, smooth sailing, you know? But no. Right, so what if I touch? I don't want to touch you, though. I feel like coming into contact with the SCP is probably a bad thing. So I gotta leave the room. I'm gonna go away for just a little bit. And hopefully, hopefully, the level layout will just change. And nothing bad. Can I just beat him over the head with the fire extinguisher? I feel like fire extinguisher versus concrete statue doesn't actually work, but we're just gonna assume that it does. Does touching him do anything? I really want to know if touching him does something. I'm, I'm curious now. If I die, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Alright, we're just gonna sprint all the way back. Oh crap. Ho oh. Alright, Chief. Alright. Alright, I'm good. Alright, we're good, we're good. Oh ho. Oh. That was really close, by the way. Oh, it's Argon Boy! It's Argon Boy. I wanna see what he does. I'm really curious as to what he does if I find Argon. Argon? Argon. Tank pressure low. Alright, so I need to, oh, sorry. I need to get that taken care of, and I need to get, move item. Oh, I'll remove it whenever I find the full tank. Oh, right, wait, no, do I have to fill it up with our gun? Maybe I have to, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna have to, I can't close that though, and that kind of bothers me. Because I feel like something bad will happen. Oh, it was such, so nice music, and then all of a sudden it just changes for the worst. Are you bad things? No, you're not, okay. Alright. Alright, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. So you're just gonna- Oh my sweet Jesus! Oh my god. Okay, never mind. I am out of here. Holy sweet mother of Jesus. Okay, I'm- I'm gonna go home. And I'm gonna take a nice nap. Oh! You're dead. You're dead. Oh, there's more dead people. I didn't know that this room existed. I am out of here. We're gonna name you Jeffrey and Jerome. I thought I saw something moving. I could be wrong, but I thought I saw something moving out of there. But we're not going to worry about it, you know? We're not going to fret at all. I'm assuming that we're perfectly fine. Okay, I didn't enter these double doors last time. There is a reason I did not enter these double doors last time. Okay, I need to find a flashlight. Flashlight would be very, very helpful. Gotta get clean. I know, I know, I know. Depressurized or whatever. I don't know what the hell's going on. Ah, uh, crap. Was this the room that I- Ah, uh, of course it was. Okay, well, I feel like 173 is probably going to be right around the corner, which wouldn't surprise me. Is he going to be here? Is he not here? If he's not here, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to go into this room. Hopefully he's not here. Nope, he's not in Argon room, which is really helpful. I love how it's trees and peaceful and nice, which is really, really good. Really good. Really good. Okay, well, I want to go back, and I was going to try and loop around the other way, the one way that I didn't go last time. Hopefully he's not just lurking around here around a corner or anything. That'd be perfectly fine. You know, that'd be perfectly great. That'd be perfectly good. All right, we're going to just release some of the oxygen, you know, because the oxygen's good for you. It's good for your body. It's good for your health. A lot of things going on. A lot of things happening. A lot of things. A lot of things. A lot of things. A lot of things. 173-682-106-999-553-939. Okay, so 553 is the butterflies. 173 is the the next, next, next snappy boy. 
don't know if he's got a name or not. I don't know, because all of them have like names, and but I don't I don't know if they do or not. So I came out of this room, and I want to go into this room, I think. No, okay, not this one. It was this one then. I think. No, it wasn't that one. Uh, so frustrating. Oh, never mind. It wasn't that one either. We're just going to pretend like it wasn't that one, and we're just going to be on our merry way. We're just going to never look at SCP-173 again. Never set eyes on that boy again. Oh, wait. No, this is the different set of rooms. Apparently, I just was turned around because they were both electrical rooms. Patreon office's not document. Okay, so I read that earlier. I read that in the last episode. There's the laser thingy. Sites and stuff. There's these offices where people died in. Um, was there any information in here? I can't remember. You're a menace to society. I know. I already figured this out. <sighs> Life goes on. Oh, do you mind? Do you mind? Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh, please stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Um, yeah, someone died in here. Um, nothing important. Yeah, nothing important in here. I guess we'll just assume that it's nothing important. I think it's perfectly fine to say. Why do they have why do they have like little clear things around their desk? Is it just to like keep everything on their desk? I don't understand. I can't open the I can't open the emergency first aid kit. Aw. I feel like part of those are the dev team. I don't know. I probably should know, because I feel like that'd be just a nice thing to understand. Okay, catch it on my left side, so I'm going right. By the way, in case you didn't notice, I'm directionally challenged, both in real life and in games. Oh, great, great, we've just come full circle. Yeah, there's literally nothing in here, so I can't, can't do anything about that. Why have we come full circle? Why is this, why is this the thing that's been happening? My neighbors are stomping around upstairs, so I can just feel every vibration of their footsteps. Ooh, this is new. Oh, I did not like the sound of that. What are you? Ooh. Oh, god damn it. Why? 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 Give me one good reason. Give me one good reason. <laughs> Give me one good. What? Why? 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 Give me. Give me at least. Ah! He keeps coming through the floor. Stop following me. Stop. 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 Like literally, there's so many things that you don't have to do. You know, I'm just gonna run down here. Oh, never mind. I thought something good was down here. I lied. I didn't lie actually because I didn't didn't ask about it. But that's perfectly fine. We're just gonna keep going. I hear the heavy, maniacal, whatever breathing is behind me. But that's perfectly fine. We're just gonna assume that everything's a okay, and we're just gonna keep running and we're running and we're running and we're gonna keep going till we're safe, which I don't think we'll ever be safe. But I'm sure we're perfectly fine. I'm sure everything's a okay. Everything's great. I don't like feeling the vibrations in the floor of my neighbors either because um, that makes me just much more nervous. And we're coming through full circle again. Da -da -da. Why? 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 What? What compelling reason do you have to keep following me? Like seriously, am I that tasty morsel for you? All right, thank the Lord, baby Jesus. Okay. Oh God. Oh sweet Jesus, what happened here? Oh no, he ate the he ate the Mr. Wondertainment's. Uh. Uh. Ah. Uh, 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 I think I'm gonna keep going with my J, but I gotta think of Janus. Janus is dead. I'm gonna assume that that's Janus, and Janus is. Why? <laughs> why? 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 What do you mean? Oh hi, hi. How are you? All right, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're gonna work on it. 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 We're gonna work through this together via my therapy. Now, why am I so slow? <laughs> why? <laughs> come on, 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 come on. 
sweet Jesus. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, all right, okay, all right. Probably should stop running in straight lines. I feel like that's unhealthy for me. Oh no, the locker. Okay, no, I don't, I don't, I don't. I actually needed that. I needed that. I needed that for things and stuff. Actually, that would have been helpful to have some health, but instead, I'm probably going to die here, sad and alone. Why did I start talking like a news reporter? I don't actually know. Life goes on, I hope. I want to sprint, but I can't. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I don't like the distant rattling of things. God, I'm about to have a heart attack. Okay, it stopped. Alright, thank the Lord baby Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go on. SCP-149 document. Okay, we're gonna read that and then we're gonna be done for today. I don't, I don't want anything to do with that. 1499 containment protocol. Description, SCP-1499 is a Soviet GP-5 gas mask. A seal test performed on the object suggests that the object retains its original functionality. The anomalous effect of SCP-14999 activate when a human places SCP-1499 on their head. Approximately one second after 1499 is fully secured on the subject's head, the subject vanishes from view and is no longer detectable. The subject reports no feeling of... Excuse me. A motion at this time. Testing has received that two two-way radius radios remain capable of both receiving and transmitting despite the object being undetectable. Upon where sorry. Upon wearing SCP-1499, test subjects report completely different surroundings than they were in prior to wearing SCP-1499. Subjects have reported that it appears barren and inhospitable with tall black towers filling the area. Subjects also cited entities in this landscape. These entities, de designated SCP-1499-1, have been described as tall, nude humanoids with dark skin that have a thick coat of an unknown vicious, viscous substance. Instead, instances of SCP-1499-1 also have a large amounts of eyes and mouths covering their body. Upon removing SCP-1499 from their head, subjects reappear in the same location they were in when they put it on. Ah, oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. I want to wear it. Damn. Does that happen? Does that happen? If I if I get the key card, does that does that happen? Um, I think I think we're gonna leave that off there. You know, a lot of bad things happened. A lot of very not good things happened, and it kind of terrified me just a little bit. So. Anyway, still enjoying this game. Really love SCP Unity. It's so good. It's so interesting because it's like. You know, it's a horror game and you like have all these expectations, especially those of you that like know the lore and stuff like that, but then you start into it and you're like, this is the shit like come to fruition, like come to life. It's really good. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys. Wait. Okay.